was asked by a viewer, Peter, if I could do a video about NSCDE or not so common desktop environment, which is a continuation of the, I don't know, the, the spirit of CDE, but using more modern components such as FVWM and heavily themed. So yes, I can. I thought I'd do it on GhostBSD and what we'll do first is search for NSCDE and there it is. And we'll just install it. Now I'm not going to give you a complete rundown of NSCDE. Uh, it's something for you to discover yourself. But if you've used CDE in any way whatsoever, you'll know how to use it. So we're just going to go through the install procedure and it's really easy on GhostBSD and it's the same on FreeBSD but via the command line if you wish. So, having been installed, we log out of this particular session, which happens to be Mate. We go into the nice login screen, and there we go. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put my password in and not press enter just yet, because I want to show you that the little symbol there tells me that I'm already logged into NSCDE before, and I'll just change it to Mate, because Mate is what you'll see if you do this for the first time. You gotta make sure that NSCDE is picked, otherwise Mate will load up by default. So we'll just select it again, and press enter, and it will first present you with this little script. It's a first run setup. I think it's pretty safe to select uh, yes, which is the default, on each one of these questions. You can read it if you wish to make sure you can tailor it to your, your own taste. But many of these are, are quite sensible. So I'll just press in enter or go uh, through the, the questions. And that's it. I press enter to finish setup and start the color style manager. Now this is, this is the fun part where you can choose all your lovely CDE colors. The default one is pretty cool. And it's the one that I use on my Motive window manager. And there we go. And the great thing about NSCDE is everything else that you launch, say for instance, um, Firefox, it will adopt the color, even if it's not natively uh, supported. And again, we'll just go into the color to see what we got. You've got a very large choice of colors, actually. Um, as far as I remember, a lot larger than what's in CDE itself. So you choose one which is more to your taste. I think this is uh, what a lot of people will be doing first time. The other menus on the taskbar down below are just what's already installed in the system. It detects it and installs them. So you've got a very large help compendium, which is really actually pretty cool. And if you do get lost, then just click on help or show you this nice uh, manual. It's very nicely laid out. And the fact it's installed, so you don't have to view it online, is pretty cool. And some programs you'll have to set up yourself, and some are already done for you, like this uh, mail one should launch in a minute. Let's take its time. And, oh, here it comes now. Oh, no wonder it launched the evolution, no wonder it took a while. You can obviously change that to something more lightweight if you wish. So let's have a look at how the system is doing. So it's using the venerable top, and you can see it's fairly lightweight, which is to be expected. Oh, and Firefox starts up. Okay, that's nice. I'm going to click that accidentally. Like I said, it's, it's taken on the appearance of the overall uh, theme, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's, um, it's an interesting experience. I, I think I do prefer the original motif and possibly CDE itself, even though it's it's slightly old. But this is really good. If you if you want a more up-to-date, and it's perhaps more security conscious, then, uh, and you want the aesthetics of CDE, then this is really the best way to go. Anyway, it's only a quick video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.